going on, y'all? This is your boy Village. What's good? Ethnos Expressions. We have hey. Miss Wala Magic. You know what I mean? So um, we um, you know, we hear all this hype or whatever. And I'm gonna tell you, I, <laughs> in a way, I was kind of against this whole Popeye's chicken thing I did because I don't know if any of you guys seen like Undercover Brother General Fried Chicken how the, the chicken was a mind control device that's kind of how I feel about this Popeye's chicken the chicken should be this damn good but with all that with all that aside Popeye's has been loyal as far as delivering some amazing chicken and we just had to give it a try we just had to see what the hype was about all right, so uh, I'm gonna give me a second. I'm gonna show y'all, you know, try to reveal the sandwich. This is a big sandwich for a chicken sandwich. Like, a chick, oh wow, hope everything is all right. This is a big chicken sandwich. A chicken sandwich should be this big. I mean, Chick fil A don't stand a chance with a, with a chicken sandwich this big. I mean, this is got some weight to it. This is this is huge, like, <laughs> this is pretty big, you know what I mean. So um, we ordered a couple sandwiches. You know, right now this is just the classic. Wanted to get the classic a try to see what was going on. But um, yeah, let me open this thing up real quick. All right, let me take this thing out. Oh my gosh, this thing should be. Whoa! God, Lee, cut. That's not chicken. A chicken, yo, <laughs> that's too big, man. Like, this, no chicken sandwich should be that thick. Look, look how thick that is. It's like twice the size of a Chick fil A sandwich. And the bun is nice and soft. Okay, this is just the mayo, light mayo. I love me a soft bun, too. So. Okay, thick pickles and some mayo. So, this is just the classic. This is just a chicken sandwich with some mayo and some nice. You know, thick pickles. Um, but in comparison to Chick Fil A, their pickles is really, really thick. Um, I don't even think that Chick Fil A does that same type of pickle. I don't know if that's kosher deal or whatever. But check out the pickle game on it. That's yeah, really big. It's thick. You're not getting that size of pickle ratio from from Chick Fil A. That's that's not happening. Yeah, it's really, really thick and. Yeah, it smells amazing. And it smells fresh. Like, they literally just took that pickle out and just cut that up fresh. Yeah. It didn't come from no factory. That that smells amazing. If y'all know what kind of pickles those really are, let me know. Kosher deal. What What, what is that? I don't know. And then you have this thick and piece And it's at of the bottom. It's not at the top. top. Is that strategic for the crunch factor? Or? I don't know. I mean, this chicken breast is huge. It's huge. All right, so I'm going to take a bite. Moment of truth, moment of truth. And uh, hold on one second. Let me get the camera going here. Uh, this amazing sandwich. All right, this thing, go, is, go, go, this thing go. is huge. This thing is huge, man. But um, this ain't helping with my diet. You know, hopefully my doctor's not watching right now. But here we go. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. Yo, go back to Popeyes and get four more of these. Four? Oh my, this is good as. Oh, oh, excuse my. Oh my god, this is good. Hold on. Is this chicken breast meat or. Or is it. Um, is it dark meat? Cause it, I never. Why is it so tender? Oh my god! Like, do you see? Look, look at the juices in there. It's so tender. Like literally, <laughs> it's so tender. Like, and it's so flavorful. Go ahead and try that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's in there. In there like swimwear. 
Yo. It's worth the hype. Definitely worth the hype. Worth the wait. Mm. Don't get it twisted. Might not get the customer service because you ain't that Chick fil A, but forget the customer service. We'll yeah. take the food. Yeah. How we was going to do this was get a chicken sandwich from like Wendy's and KFC and get one from Chick fil A and side by side, but we don't need to do that. It's stand apart from it. It's 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 it is own class. It's his own sandwich. Look, don't get me wrong. I believe you know, especially when we talk about you know, we don't want to just flood all this money to Popeyes and we don't own the franchises and a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I understand there's a lot of negativity to it as well. But overall, if you don't want to make this out, I mean, I could make something almost to this degree at home, but that thick. I don't know about this thing. I don't know. Like, it's almost like, did they put fillers in here? I mean, this is a thick chicken sandwich. I mean, look at that. That's like... Stallion chicken that's sandwich. That's like... That's thicker than like a Mondo burger from Good Burger. I mean, that's thick, hey, man. Home of the Good Burger. <laughs> of the the good good burger. burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> there, go ahead and uh, knock yourself out. Mm. Right? really good what you think set them apart they right? don't let up it really don't let up it's consistent the cook on it as well it's, it's it tastes like somebody took their time with it it doesn't feel like you got it from a fast food restaurant you definitely feel like you got it from you know a quality restaurant like they they set in the bar Really, 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 really high here. Really high. Of all the chicken and dishes that Popeyes came up with, ghost chili, and you know, every other day is always something different they, they got going on that you didn't even think you can do with chicken. Chicken ripping strips and all this fingers and all this other kind of stuff. They already had the secret in the bag. Like, for real, for real, some of that other stuff that's on the menu, trash it. Trash. Yo. Go ahead and just put that. Yo. She ain't lying. She, yo. This is the real deal. The real deal. This is no joke. Um, and remember, we're just eating the classic. You know, we haven't opened up the spice. We're gonna I already know. We're gonna the wait till we gonna rock. the spicy gonna be off the chip. We're gonna I wait. Love spicy food. We're gonna I already know. Yeah, exactly. She she loves spicy. I love spicy food. Like, we're gonna wait till we get to the house. You know what I mean? To eat, to eat the spicy. You know, I just I wanted to break open the classic. You know what I mean? In the car, just to get to kind of give y'all a quick um, quick update on this, man. Um, is it worth standing in line for a long, long, long time? Yes. Yes. It yes. is at the level of almost Black Friday waiting line potential like we are willing be willing to wait for this it's worth it it's worth it mm, 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 mm. i know that like we sharing the sandwich yes we are yeah we we sharing the sandwich <laughs> <laughs> we sharing the sandwich and um and um I man i got the chicken all on my teeth and everything <laughs> it's banging man it's 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 banging it's definitely banging. I'm going to tell you, like, <sighs> you know what? It's comfort food. Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A is still going to be successful. Don't get me wrong. You know, they're a Christian-based uh, franchise uh, and everything like that, you know. So they're going to get that, that big support. But I'm going to tell you, I don't think they was expecting someone to compete with them with a chicken sandwich, right? That wasn't really no one else's market. Everybody that had a chicken sandwich for the most part, you know, was like basic chicken sandwich, that Burger frozen, King, frozen, patty. patty. Um, then you had Wendy's, Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich was good. You know, KFC kind of had like a little chicken sandwich or whatever. I think they used like some strips or whatever. Uh, but for the most part, no one really had a chicken sandwich. 
Um, you could say Zaxby's and all of that, but I'm talking about like a big, like a really big franchise. Um, Chick Fil A kind of changed the game. You know, eat more chicken. That whole slogan, and uh, they changed the game because people really fell in love. I mean, to the point now they got people eating what grilled nuggets. So. <clears throat> They doing their thing over there, and um, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Um, you know, it's it's Chick Fil A still gonna be around. They still got some amazing sauce and everything like that, but they didn't anticipate Popeyes or any franchise of that matter, but Popeyes making a chicken sandwich twice the size of theirs, twice the size of theirs. Now. For those that come from some urban neighborhoods and different things like that, because you only see some of these in, in, in you know urban areas, which is basically um, what you what they call the uh, culturally diverse uh, churches chicken, right? There used to be that conversation between churches and Popeyes, like who had the sp the best spicy fried chicken and all of that, different things like that. At the end I've of the day, I've never had chicken from uh, spicy chicken from. Um, churches. Oh, it's never available. It's banging. I've never had spicy chicken. <laughs> y'all, let us know in the comment box if y'all have had spicy chicken from churches because I've never had. Never. Yo, bang again. They like, regular chicken is good, but churches uh, spicy fried chicken is the best. And then those honey glazed biscuits, what up? Yo, churches do got the best biscuits. Yeah. Y'all put in the comment box too who y'all think has the best biscuits. Who has the best biscuits? I'm going with churches. Y'all let me know fast. Food. It's churches. It's not even close. Popeyes is like a freaking cardboard. Um McDonald's uh, McDonald's tastes like baking soda. Uh KFC, I don't even think it's real. It's almost like a toy. Now Hardy's is pretty good. Hardy's is okay, but it's once again Hardy's is better with a like when you eat it as a sandwich. It's not so much good as a it's okay if it's fresh If it's super fresh Hardy's is okay, but ain't nobody messing with Churches churches got it down to a science. It's nice and flaky and soft and got the honey glaze on it but that, the whole case in point was Popeyes at one point, you know, that was the kind of little conversation, right? The little battle between churches and Popeyes when it came to spicy fried chicken. At the end of the day, I think churches won that crown, but at the end of the day, Popeyes is the bigger franchise, right? Kind of nationwide. Yeah. So now you kind of have this new battle. You have the battle of the chicken sandwiches, which Popeyes entered in and they're killing it. I don't know who they... Uh, meat supplier is or their source but I, i'm thinking maybe the ceo said hey make it bigger hey you ever see i know i keep bringing that movie up but if anybody watched um mondo burger and uh the good burger was starting to really uh come back with a vengeance with that new ed sauce so the mondo burger manager was like hey make the burgers bigger three times bigger right and uh, I think that uh, Popeyes did the same thing with their supplier. They was like, look, we are winning with this chicken sandwich. When we start cutting that chicken breast, make it as thick as possible. Make it the thickest chicken breast on the planet. And we're going to put it in the sandwich and we're going to basically marinate the hell out of it and make it really uh, tender and juicy. And oh my God, but it's you know good. What? Just from a, a business standpoint, you know, with Popeyes, I really think that they got a good thing going on with the chicken sandwich, but they need something else to set them aside. For example, y'all already know that um, Chick-fil-A got, you know, the little small um, nuggets there, and then you have the little small miniature little um what is it, breakfast bites or little breakfast sandwiches, whatever. Y'all you know, know you put the nuggets and the little small breads or whatever in their waffle fries. So people sometimes just go there just for the fries. I feel like Popeye's needs something else to be known for other than the chicken sandwich. If the flavor is there, yes. The chicken sandwich is there, yes. But it needs something else to set them aside. Have a banging dessert 
of something, something else to draw the people in so really can get be in that competitive ring with them. What you what you think they should do, Ellis? I agree. Um, they need to do that. Uh, they need to do that ASAP. Um, I agree with that uh, 100%. Um, what would it be, though, if they could do something different? I don't know. I'm really thinking it needs to be some type of dessert element. Yeah, that is a sector. I mean, wasn't KFC was doing something like that, right? So there was a chocolate the cake. The chocolate cake thing, I think they were doing something. Uh, I think they're still doing it. Um, that chocolate cake, I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty good. Um, but I they think they need to do gumbo or something to elevate themselves. I think, well, that is true too. They're gonna have to do that. But what did we, we I think we said this yesterday where we was like, when it comes to, to, to get the Popeyes, when it comes to Popeyes, one of the biggest things that we said that it's going to hurt them a little bit, in the, at least in the short term, is their level of service. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I that, that. <laughs> Because Chick-fil-A has, in their brand management, they have made themselves to be like the Disney World white glove experience of fast food. Like nobody is at their level. I think maybe right on the Chick-fil-A, if I have to guess, maybe Arby's. I don't know. Who else has good customer service with fast food? Um, definitely ain't McDonald's. <laughs> it ain't Wendy's either. Definitely ain't Taco Bell. It ain't Taco Bell. <laughs> it ain't Burger King. It ain't Cookout. <laughs> it is none of that. So, yeah. I think I think that's what what really would compare uh, compel people yeah. um, to go to a, a establishment is the experience. Um, we're willing to pay a little bit more, long as we can have consistent. Um, Consistence in the experience, the quality food, and then just being able to say, I know no matter what city I go into, that this level of service is going to be available for me. And I think that the, the public needs that. They want that, and they're, they're willing to put their money where their mouth is to get it. I agree. And I think that's the biggest challenge is that Popeyes. Don't get me wrong. I love all the workers. and They're working hard, man. They're working hard. We just came out of a Popeye's. They are like, why did they put this chicken sandwich back on the menu? I am sweating bullets. They, I think I've been in that Popeye's before. I think the most I may have seen like three to four staff. No. It had to be at least about 15 to 16 people in the back. I mean, they all hands on deck. All you see is just piles of chicken sandwiches. Um, and the line was wrapped around the building. It was getting long inside. Um, they got their work cut out for them. And uh, Shout out to your, to your, your Popeyes and fast food workers. You know, yeah. Let people know they're doing a good job. Yeah. Let people know you're you know, appreciative of, of how they working hard. Real Absolutely. Talk. Clap it up for them, man. Clap it up. They working hard, man. A lot of them don't get paid a whole lot. They're trying to put food on their table, take care of their families, and they're working hard. They are working hard. We appreciate them, um, especially when we come to making those sandwiches. You know, you got to, there's, there's a lot. It's a process. You're making a, a multiple sandwiches and different things like that. It's a lot. It's hot in there. It's grease flying, flour flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot, but um, I'm gonna tell you that that's the biggest kryptonite, man. Is is the level of service? So I'm thinking, hopefully soon, maybe Popeyes can do some sort of training um, and try to bring them up to speed on the level of service. We did go to one Popeyes. I think I have to shout out to uh, uh, a Popeyes. I think it was in Durham, North Carolina, and. Um, we had stopped there on the way home, and when we went there, it was crowded. It was just at the at the very end of the the sandwich mania, and we we were just there to get some chicken. It was crowded. It was tons of people, but the level of service. Hello, sir. How you doing today? I mean, they just treated us it was like so royalty. Good. It was like it was odd. Like yeah, what? he must have just stopped working. Yeah. What? <laughs> 
he must have needed this job. For real. <laughs> yeah. For like, real. You know we at Popeyes. Did you come from Chick Fil A? Like we don't do it like this over here. Yeah, we 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 like hurry. What's your order? Hurry up. What do you need? How can I help you? <laughs> But yo, he was really, really nice. He was really, really nice, and everybody, everybody was working hard. Uh, the food was cranking out. The chicken was cranking out. They got us in and out pretty quick, you know, pretty quick. And the service was really great. And I was like, you know what? If Popeyes gonna operate like this, they're gonna get Chick Fil A run for their money. And on top of that, they don't close on Sundays. They open every day of the week. You know, don't get me wrong. It's great. I love, you know, Chick-fil-A's model. You know, hey, church Sunday, and we're going to dedicate that day. But at the end of the day, man, money. People still eat on Sundays. People still eat on Sundays. <laughs> you could cater some churches. You know I mean? You could, uh, you know, make some chicken sandwiches and cater to different churches in the cities. You know, people, you know, usually, you know, it's the big Sunday meal. So uh, Popeye's going to take care of that. Question. What about the possibility of maybe Popeyes doing sort of like what White Castle did and kind of like making like a frozen type of dish to it? Do you think that'll be like a productive if like, you know, Popeyes came out with manufacturing their own chicken, selling it in the stores and then being able to have a whole new marketing scheme like that? Uh, nah, it's going to be, I think you can mass produce, um, you can mass produce little burgers such as White Castle and start selling them in little packages, right? Because the burgers, what, uh, uh, just a little thicker than a fingernail, right? It's really thin. The, the buns are small. It's a little slider. Logistics wise and um, safe food safety wise, it's much easier to manage that. When you come, we dealing with fried chicken. Well, may, well, maybe not frying the chicken and then kind of redoing it in the oven type deal. What about just say, okay, for example, Tyson, we have an exclusive limited edition. We're gonna have the chicken that is used by Popeyes and put Popeyes label on a Tyson bag and just sell the raw chicken. That would sell out in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> that would sell out. Thanksgiving table would be like Patty's Pies. Everybody, did you get that your bag of chicken? You got <laughs> don't get that that Purdue chicken. Get that Popeyes Tyson chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that would sell out immediately. And speaking of Thanksgiving uh, Popeyes do have that Cajun, right? Cajun deep fried. We should do a review on it. We should do a review we on that, right? We might do a review on it for y'all. We might do a review on that. See, we usually, um, for our Thanksgivings, um, we usually make a Caribbean jerk turkey. And sometimes we just have the traditional turkey. But maybe we do all three. If maybe we can get this video to 200 likes... We will do a review on the Cajun turkey for from Popeyes. 200 likes, right, Village? 200 likes. You heard it here first from Miss Walla. 200 likes. 200 likes. We'll go ahead and do a review on the uh, Popeyes uh, deep fried Cajun turkey. And um, yeah, I think that would be good. That'd be special. Uh, you know, anything from Popeyes is just amazing. That. I've had the pleasure of going to New Orleans and their food, you could tell Popeye's is from that, it's from that, that's that town, that spirit, just the flavors and seasoning and oh, it's just, you can't beat that, man. You cannot beat that. But other than that, man, we definitely appreciate you guys. Definitely, um, definitely. Appreciate y'all sticking out for the channel. A lot more fun to come. Y'all stay tuned. And remember, get this video to 200 likes, and we will review the Cajun turkey from Popeye's. All right, you heard it here, you heard it here first. I appreciate it. Look, this is going to be part one. We got part two coming soon. We're going to try the spicy chicken sandwich. So stay tuned for that, all right? Peace. It's your boy Village.